In 2013, New York was gripped by the case of the cannibal cop, an NYPD police officer who plotted to eat his wife and her friends online, with harmless quotes like, I want her to experience being cooked alive, and I am not into the humane stuff either. It's personal with Andrea. She will absolutely suffer. He has since served time in prison, and he's even written a book about his experience. Here to talk about it, the cannibal cop himself, Gil Valley. I read your book on tape. It's completely absorbing. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to write it? I just felt that the true story hadn't been out there, and I felt that I owed it to myself and the people who supported me to get that out there. What is the story that's out there? Well, there was this NYPD cop who was plotting to kidnap and cook women. Uh, this really horrifying story with gruesome details. But that's not you. No, that's not me at all. Um, I'm not this lunatic, I'm not this homicidal maniac. You mm -hmm. know, I'm actually a very normal, nice guy. I'm very like go with boring, the flow. Basic. Well, uh, I wouldn't say boring, oh, but I'm just sorry. no, just just a humble and humble, yeah. kind of just random sure. like, basic guy. Yes. You're plotting to eat women on a website for fun. Mm -hmm. Your wife had suspicions. She put spyware on the computer, mm -hmm. caught you, calls the FBI, they arrest you, you go to jail. What advice would you give someone who was busted by their wife for plotting to eat her and her friends on a dark fetish website? I don't know how many people have actually been in that situation. How do you distinguish mm -hmm. between somebody plotting to cook people for fun and someone plotting to cook people for business? What distinguishes a fantasy plot from a real plot are real life actions. And there was only one instance where you, where you plotted to meet someone and you did. Well, right, the female in Maryland. Yeah. Um, Do you guys still keep in touch? No, I haven't spoken to her. You're never gonna eat women. Never gonna eat women. It was all a fictional fantasy. I would never dream of doing anything without anybody's consent. Well, you could all. dream it, but that's not a crime. It's, sometimes I sit and I think and it's like, why, uh, why me? Like I've been such a, just a quiet person my whole life. Just a, this. Because you plotted to eat women on a <laughs> website and your wife found out and told the FBI and uh -huh. you used NYPD software to stalk one of them and you know. You make it so clear. Thanks. But also, you know, we've all done stuff. If you read my text to my ex, you'd probably feel bad for me. Are you dating again? I've dated, yeah. That's been something that hasn't been completely shut down. Are you exclusively dating women who know about your history as Cannibal Cop? I think that's the best course of action. How would you tell somebody that you are the Cannibal Cop? Do you want to practice? Hi, my name's Amy. Would you like to go out with me? I'd love to go out with you, sure. Anything you want to tell me? I was on uh, the internet writing these fictional stories, these very violent stories about cooking women, and I was arrested by the FBI. I was arrested by the FBI as well. Really? For plotting to cook men. Well, then sounds like we're a, you know, a good match. Would you ever be on a dating show? I mean, uh, I wouldn't say no to that. Well, today is your lucky day because you are on Meet Your Match. Let's meet our bachelorettes, Alice. Alice loves art and enjoys designing costumes for Burning Man. Claiborne, she's a cocktail waitress who believes in love at first sight. And finally, we have Ashua. She's a singer and actor with a BS in criminal justice. I can relate to that. It's not your turn to talk. Okay, Alice, what's your question for Gil? Gil. Would you describe yourself as conservative in the bedroom or willing to try new things? 
definitely willing to try new things. Playborn, ask away. Gil, what's more important in a relationship? Trust or lust? Trust, every time, absolutely. It's important to be open and honest, and that, that was my mistake in my marriage. Shh, don't talk about your exes. Okay. Ashua. Okay, I've never been in a long-term relationship because I tend to get a little bored. How would you keep things spicy? I'd ask you what you want to do, and I'd be down for trying it. Great, like anal. Sure. I'm gonna say it one more time just so we have it for coverage. Like anal. Like anal. One more time, sorry. Yeah. Like anal. No, that was fake. Like anal. Like anal. Great, we got it. Bondage, okay. whatever you want we to got try. It. Okay. Now it's time for Gil to get to know the Bachelorette. Alice, where do you live? I live in bed -Stuy, Brooklyn. Okay. Claiborne, where do you live? I live in the East Village in Manhattan. Oshawa, where do you live? Washington Heights, babe. Alice, how fast do you run? Oh, I am not the most skilled runner. I could probably do a mile in an average amount of time. Okay, Claiborne, how fast do you run? Maybe like a seven, five, eight mile? Oshawa, how fast do you run? As quick as Uber can take me. Now for the final round. A man who plots to eat his wife on a dark fetish website, but never actually does it. Guilty or not guilty, Alice. Not guilty? Claiborne. I'd have to say guilty. Oshawa. Guilty. Gil, it's time to make your choice. The choice for me would have to be Alice. Just because she, she said not guilty. Great, Alice, come on over. Take a seat, Alice. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm sure you two have a lot to catch up on. But first, Gil. Mm hmm Has something to tell you. Are you familiar with the case of the NYPD officer who was plotting to kidnap, cook, and eat women? I, I am not actually familiar with this case. Uh, that was me. The feds arrested me in 2012 for the heinous plot, but it was all fiction, it was fantasy, I've been acquitted. That chapter of my life is gone. So yeah. you guys look like you're really hitting it off. <laughs> uh, since you've been such good sports, we are treating the two of you to a sports massage. <laughs> I can use a massage. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. This is not a bad first date, right? No, this is a very <laughs> interesting first date. Yes, this is for sure. So um, this was my, the first book I ever wrote. Awesome.